Hi there, I'll do some work in Excel which were done either manually or by a financial calculator in Chapter 9 videos. I'm also asked to show how to construct NPV profile in Excel. By the way, don't forget to subscribe the channel if you like the video and wish to be notified for future uploads. In Chapter 9 Part 1 video, Project A had these conventional cash flows. As seen, cash flows doesn't change sign more than once. Let's calculate the net present value by using Excel and PV function. NPV function has two arguments, rate, value. Required return is in cell C13. And here the value is. I will not include the cash flow at year zero in the NPV function. The reason is that the NPV function doesn't truly calculate the net present value, but rather calculates the present value of cash flows. So to calculate the NPV of a series of cash flows, we use the NPV function to calculate the present value of the cash flows beyond year zero. Then add cash flow at year zero to the result. That's it. Let's calculate the IRR. The internal rate of return is the rate of return for a series of cash flows for which the NPV is zero. We can easily calculate the IRR using Excel IRR function. We need to include the first cash flow in the values argument for IRR. We let the guess argument blank. Excel uses an algorithm to repeatedly change the interest rate until it finds an interest rate that generates a zero MPV. If you enter a starting value for the guess argument, Excel will begin its calculations at that value. Let's see. IRR, the same value is, and I'll put the guess argument. I'm completely making this up, 11%, we got the same IRR. Let me change the guess argument to, I don't know, maybe to negative 30%. It's the same. When we have conventional cash flows, it's unnecessary to enter a value for this argument. However, we will have unconventional cash flow soon that when you want to find multiple IRRs, the guess argument will be very useful. Here, NPV and IRR functions assumes that the cash flows happen at regular intervals. The length of time interval is one year for this project. If the cash flows happen at irregular intervals, we need to use the XNPV and XIRR functions. These have an additional argument, which is the date for each cash flow. Suppose we have the following set of cash flows and required return. To find the net present value, we are going to use X and PV. Three arguments, rate, value is dates, rate is 9%. values and dates. To calculate IRR, we are going to use XIRR function values and dates. Next, the NPV profile is a graphical representation of the NPV of a project for different interest rates. To make the NPV profile, we will first need a table with the project's NPV at different interest rates. So let me uh, start at 0%, then 5%. It's enough. Let's calculate corresponding net present value. 
we'll use NPV function. First argument weight, ma, cash flows, I'll start at year one, then I'll add the year zero to the result. Since we are going to use same cash flows to calculate NPV for different returns, we need to fix these cash flow numbers, these values. Let me copy the cell. Now what we have, we have return NPV pairs. When return is 0%, net present value is $30,400. When it's 5, it's $22,104.30. We have ordered pairs, return, is the first component, NPV is the second component. Return, return will be on x-axis, NPV will be on y-axis. So let me insert a scatter plot. So I, I choose return and NPV columns, and I'm going to insert a scatter plot. If I use scatter, then you see the points are plotted on the rectangular coordinate system having return on x-axis and NPV on y-axis. But in the video lecture, I used line. And what you see is NPV will be zero for a rate between 20 and 30. That's the IRR. We found IRR is 25.04%. cash flows. As you see, cash flows change sign more than once. We expect multiple internal rate of returns. To see, we are going to make NPV profile. even up to 75% is good enough for return. I want, I want my graph to be made for R starting at 25%, negative 25% up to 75%. By using NPV function, we are going to calculate net present value. copy the function. The next step is graphing. We have return and NPV columns. Select these columns, insert the line graph, and you see the NPV uh, profile intersect x-axis at two points, and these are positive rates, so we know that two IRRs are positive. Let's see the trick here. To find multiple IRRs, we are going to use the guess argument. For this project, it's clear that both IRRs are positive. So no need to uh, let EGDA to start searching for interest rate um, starting from a negative guess argument. So I'll start at 0%, then 5%. Let me go up to maybe 90, 90%. Let's calculate IRR. The value is, these are the project cash flows. The project cash flows are in 
cell C49 uh, through C52. C49, C52. The guess argument is in P50. Enter. Let's copy the function. As you see, we found two IRR values, 13.94% and 43.26%. Let's say you didn't make the NPV, you didn't know that IRR, both IRR are positive, then you would also use a negative uh, guess argument. I can simply make the guess column negative. And let me use the same uh, like IR function. I'll simply copy it. Well, here, my second guess is not in P column, but it's in Q, so I need to change it. That's it. Let me copy the function. You see when rate is, the guess argument is negative, when you ask Excel, for example, start at negative 5%, then it arrives uh, to 13.94%.